Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 17. And it's a very familiar passage of scripture. It reads as follows, as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the confidence of his friend. Like I said, it's one of the most familiar, I think, uh, Proverbs that we find in the book of Proverbs. It's often quoted, and when I think about it, it's often used, it seems like, in, in men's accountability groups in the house of God, where brothers get together, they set up a cup of coffee, and they begin to share with one another and hold one another accountable for their actions during the course of the week. But you know, that's um, more like, to me, having an acquaintance. And I have um, a lot of different people I know, but I can tell you that I have very few friends. And I probably only have a handful of friends, people that I would consider to be true friends. That is somebody that will love me and support me and care about me, even after they get to know me. Because let's face it, none of us are prized every day of the week. We all have our issues, but a true friend will stick by you. A true friend will support you. A true friend is somebody that will tell you like it is before it get like it will be. Yes, a true friend will rebuke you. Uh, as the scripture says earlier, that uh, open uh, rebuke is better than secret love. A true friend will call you on your mess. You don't need a bunch of yes people around you. Somebody that's going to find a way to support you, even though they know that it is wrong, so that it may sound pleasing to you by then telling you, yeah, what you're doing is right. When you know that it's wrong, innately, you know it's wrong. You have this gut feeling that it's wrong. The Holy Spirit is convicting you that what you're doing is not right. But, and, you, and you need friends that are willing to call you on that because they want the very best for you. The interesting comparison that we see here in this verse, it says, as iron sharpens iron, two of the same things rubbing against each other, causing it to be more effective in its use. Iron sharpens iron so that it'll be able to cut. Iron sharpens iron speaks to the mutual benefit of giving and receiving correction. Yes, when iron uh, goes against iron, it improves the quality of both of them, such as wisdom can never be obtained in isolation. You need friends. You need a friend that actually will be a friend to you, that will be true to you and to themselves. And it's not so much that their correction comes in the matter of their own wisdom or comes in the matter of their own intellect, but rather you both have the standard of the word of God. So they hold up the word of God against you to support you, to correct you, to encourage you. And I think that this uh, proverb is not just so much for the friend that supports you as much as it is also for you yourself, that you be a friend to someone in like manner, that you might be able to sharpen them and lift up their continents. Think about this verse. Meditate on this verse. And I pray that as you go throughout this day, that you would think about those friends that are true friends and thank God for them and pray for them and support them. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. And remember this, that we have a friend that sticks closer than a brother, and his name is Jesus. Amen. <laughs>